If you are not comfortable with figuring stuff out, solving problems, making your own repairs, seriously don't go RVing because stuff happens. When a crisis happens, you don't always think to grab the camera. I did think to grab the camera, but it was a massive crisis, so I didn't have time to turn it on. Um, I pulled in from getting gas and water and noticed that water was leaking out from under the rig. Um, Amy had, was taking a shower when I left, so I was concerned. Next, <laughs> we looked underneath and our underbelly looked like it was pregnant. It was. <laughs> it was. It was impregnated with water. It was all water weight. It was all water weight, but I'm bummed. <laughs> um, the whole underbelly was just full of um, water, so we had to pull it off. trying to, to figure out where the um, leak might be. So you notice this wall back here is completely saturated. So that gives us a clue. The leak is above that dripping we're seeing because the drip is below it. It wouldn't have come up and saturated right. this wall. The outdoor shower was the one that was leaking the most, which makes the no outdoor sense. Shower? The outdoor shower, this valve right here was the one that was leaking the most. That doesn't make sense to me because it, it's closed. Hmm. Um, there, there were two other valves that were leaking fairly substantially, but not like, um, not like that one. So what I'm hoping is, is it's just these three valves that were leaking. And now that we've taken care of it, although we've got a wet mess. That's sure right, Um well, we've got good weather to dry it all out. Yeah. And we're actually here several days. We got to leave it open because we do not want to close it up wet. Amy went to the office to see if we could get a mobile tech. But I am a little disappointed, Thousand Trails, that I went to the office and the first man I said, oh my gosh, we have this massive leak. Is there someone you all can call a mobile repair person to come help us? And I got such a snarky response, which is very disappointing when you're already stressed out. Certainly doesn't bring out the best in me. Um, but his response was, well, I, I'm sure someone could give you a phone number so you can call all by yourself. That was very condescending. Was it because I was a woman or because you're just condescending? I don't know. But uh, I had to explain to the man that works here, there is no phone service in Yosemite Lake. So thankfully the man in the office was lovely. He did hand me a book and a landline phone. I had to stop and think about how to use the landline phone because I haven't done that in a long time. I called three different places and each one said, there is no one that's gonna be up there anytime this week. So we're just gonna chin up, carry on. We'll figure this out. This is the case. It, this is a good thing, right? I mean, it's a mess but it's a good thing. Right, I mean, I wouldn't want to leave it like this for a week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your temperature's right out. Yeah. But, um, go get a regulator. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a regulator, and I'm gonna go up to that, um, where I can get internet and I'm just gonna see what to check you know what I mean yeah 
I also spilled the dog food all over the floor, which has been fun for Silas, and so I'm just gonna let him go for it. This is because I was showering with this fleek happen and cleaning. I swept the floors, I vacuumed, I mopped, get everything so shiny and clean. It's just been all downhill ever since. That's what I get for trying to clean the rag. Oh. What's your problem? What's up? The test score says otherwise. It tells me. I don't know why the TV's playing. I didn't do it. I drove down to um, where they said self-service was, and there's one bar. <laughs> Couldn't load anything. <laughs> um, I did get a regulator, so we're good there. Um, but as for internet, that's not happening there. So I renewed the lease on the thing we signed up for in here and got some. That okay. might help you. It might. But what about my meeting in the morning? Your meeting in the morning. We're probably going to be driving a half hour. So we need to plan accordingly. Also, while you're talking, I just realized our refrigerator just kicked over to gas, which means it's not getting power. It don't have no gas in it. Oh, thank God. Oh, it does. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. The breaker. So, let me tell you thank what God. happened. Thank <laughs> God. Let me tell you what happened. Uh... In all the confusion, we disconnected the power. The air conditioning was on. It yes. ran our batteries down. Yes. Uh-oh. But it just flipped the breaker again. And there goes the refrigerator, like power gas, power That's gas. That's not good, Ames. No, Jim, it's not. That's not good. All right. I'll make you something a little special. Oh. While you were out. God bless you. What's it got in it? Hibiscus tea. Yeah. Because that lowers your blood pressure. Okay. Mint, yeah. fresh mint, honey, raw honey, and lime. No vodka? <laughs> it's just a non-alcoholic beverage that should lower your blood pressure. Hibiscus tea is good for that. Refreshing? Oh, so good. And boy, did we need it today. So are Vian, right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Our first RV trip started with a, with a water leak. And we really haven't had... Did it? The, oh, the, the rental industry. Yes, stream. that's right. Yes. Nine o'clock at night, I was fixing a water leak. Yes. Uh, I hope to never deal with it again, but here we are. And uh, it's not fun. It's not going to be fun putting everything back once it dries out. But Yeah, reattaching that underbelly is going to be a bit of a test. It's going to take six of us. But we don't have time to deal with that right now. we got to do some dinner. That's right. I've got an early morning meeting that requires internet. We're going to drive over to Groveland for that. Yep, but we seem to be back... Uh, Going right now. Yeah, it's good. From your lips to God's ears, don't change this. We let it dry out overnight, and everything seemed to be working. The the breaker flipped what three, four times. We had Maybe. a few poltergeists to work out. Yeah, we did, uh, which scared us a little bit. But it turned out that it was probably just some moisture. <laughs> Let's hope. Uh, See how everything was sitting in water there yeah. for a minute. Yeah. But we got that squared away. We put uh, paper towels down under the where the leaks were happening. Ran the water like normal. Everything was dry the next morning, so. I'm trying to get the underskirting back up. I've got about a quarter of it done. <laughs> um, I've got this side and the other side to finish off. And then hopefully this will be done and it won't be a real, oh, and I've got to get the wall back in too. I forgot <laughs> about the wall. Got it all fixed. I'm so glad. I'm so glad too. Uh, Could have been worse. That was quite an ordeal though. <laughs> it was not minor. That that was the worst, but luckily we were able to fix it. Got it fixed, got everything buttoned back up. Now let's hope it'll start leaking again because I don't want to do that again. Because then you're going to get a video of our pity party. That's right. So that's the water leak of 2021.